You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Black Sabbath, Super Nought, and before that was Finn Lizzy, Bad Reputation. And I'm sitting here with Ozzy Osbourne. Good to be here, Steve. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming in. It's good to be here. I love you. Oh. Not like that. <laughs> well, maybe a little. No. <laughs> Stop it. What you been up to, mate? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm here to announce the, the, the Ozfest, which is uh, it's, a, it's the 21st anniversary of the Ozfest, and I can't believe that, oh, that's gone so 21 years. Yeah. Uh, the last time I played it was last year with Black Sabbath, and we had 45,000 people, which was great. It's my first solo show in LA in six years. Um, and that, that's about it. Uh, Ozfest is f- facing 19 bands. Uh, um, when is it? Uh, I don't know, we'll find out. Is it oh. in November? Let's have a butcher's here. Oh, here we go. Fifth, uh, November the 5th and 6th at the Glen Helen Amphitheatre. Fourth and 5th. What did I say? Yeah, let me confuse everyone. It's the 4th and 5th. <laughs> <laughs> Not the 5th and 6th. The 4th and 5th. Ozfest meets Notfest. It's like we've come by. Sharon, my wife, does all that. I, I, I just appear and play, have fun. You just show up. Yeah. You're lucky. I wish I could do that. Um, so you don't. Oh, Oz, Oz, uh, Black Sabbath done. Done. Oh, uh, no more. I mean, you know, it, it was a business, but, but you know, I was. I've been solo, thirty-five years. I was with them for ten years, and it wasn't as if it, it was like. The, the, the breakup of the century it was. Uh, I was just, I, you know, I, the one thing I'm, I'm happy about. We all were friends at the end of the day. You know? Yeah. I, mean, I made a bit of cash and we did a, a, had some fun doing shows. But I'm glad to be back on my. I only have me to answer to now. So, yeah. yeah. It's all your fault if it goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you um, when you first started? Like what? What year was that? Seventy four. When I first started with you, with with, uh, with uh, Black Sabbath. Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Yeah. This, this next year, I'll be I'll be doing it fifty years. Fifty years. I, how am I alive? I don't know. That's crazy. I mean, it's it's and as I'm getting older, the years get quicker and quicker. Yeah. And I'm sixty nine. He's couldn't do this I'll reach that age. I don't know. Well, you have. <laughs> I was just 62 a couple of days ago. And how, how did you make 62? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. You know. I mean, you know, all my bold drinking buddies and other people are all dead. Yeah. It's just like, it's a bit of a... Dep- dep- I mean, poor old Lemmy died last, last year. Yeah, well. at 69, 70. He's a shame, man. He's a good friend of mine. Let me yeah. good, good guy. He was great, but he didn't have. Any, he seemed like he didn't have any intention in stopping. Well, he he, just... I mean, apparently, I heard that he had gone to the doctors to stop doing one or the other, and the doctor just said, "I oh, just carry on the way you are," because one was one was burning the fuel. Oh, he was doing that meth and all that shit. The, the meth and. Uh... And uh, a bottle of booze. Well, what he did was to get healthy, he changed from Jack Daniels to vodka and orange. Because <laughs> the orange is healthy for you. Well, yeah, well, that works. Yeah, and, and also, uh, his, his mate who makes his boots, uh, Pascal, he makes his cowboy boots, and he, got, he had diabetes and his ankles started swelling. Oh, yeah? So, so as opposed not to change, he just got bigger cowboy boots made <laughs> to fit his swollen ankles. But, was, you know, Lemmy, Lemmy was a character. I mean, Lemmy was a, a, real, a real character in the yeah. game. We need a few of them. But he was a gentleman, too. Oh, he was. He, he, wrote, he wrote me a lot of good lyrics. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you a story about it. I went, I went around, I was doing a, a, one of my albums, and I went around to his house, and I said, do you, can you do some lyrics? He says, yeah, come back in a couple of hours. And I came back, I went back here. He says, do you like them? I, said, I read them. I said, oh, all right. He said, if you don't like them, they'll try. He written me like five, five different sets of lyrics, and they're all great. Yeah, you had a couple of hits with him, right? What, oh, were, the, yeah. what were the songs? He wrote, like, Mum, I'm coming home. Yeah. See you on the other side. Hellraiser. A bunch of stuff. Yeah. He wrote the lyrics for me. Yeah. 
But it was, it was it, I mean, everybody underestimated him. Yeah. He was very well read, very, yeah. uh, very clever guy. Yeah, a real gent. He was always yeah. nice. I, to I miss him all the time. I know. I, we, yeah. The last time I did work with him was about six months before he passed away. We went down to South America. We were doing some stuff down there. It seems like a lot of people dropped dead around that time, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like six, 60, 69, well, it, 70. It's, it's, it, well, you know, in England, they get to 65 and they go, I said, I'm done. And stop working, stop doing anything, and I just sit there. And my old man did the same. He said, I'm, I'm retiring. I always wanted to do the garden. He did the garden and died. Did he? Yeah. How old was he when he? Six, 65, 66. He was retired. But but that's that. You know, you've got to have something to do. Yeah. You gotta exactly. Have, you got you to gotta keep have your mind to, active. You got to have something to get up in the morning for. You yeah. Know? Um. Yeah. That's why I come here. It gives me somewhere to go. It, it, it's your garo, you know. If you, Five if days a week. You know, you, you start living, you start living. But you notice that, though, with people, they just, they, you know, older people, they would just stop and sit on the couch and it, deteriorate. That's what happens. I've got no reason to, to live. If you get up early. Yeah, I, I, I get up early and I go to bed early. I, I, I said to my missus, I said, you know what? What was what was wrong with us when we used to think we're staying up all night was a good idea? Yeah. Nine o'clock, I want to be in bed. Yeah. Do you work out? Yeah, a lot. I work out most days. What do you do, weights? N n I do a bit of weights, but I've got, I just got a new trainer who's good. What I do with cardio, though. A lot I've, of cardio. I've just got a rowing machine. That, that's something else, is. Yeah. It's hard work. Oh, yeah. But it's good. Do you, uh, like, do you, have, do you have, remember watching the Oxford and Cambridge race? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always used to stand at Amersworth Bridge watching that. I was always for the... The light blue ones. Was that? Was that? Oh, I got it. That was Cambridge. To. Oxford were the dark blue ones. Um, but that, that's been going on for years. Isn't yeah, it? since I the beginning. Think, I used to think it was boring. <laughs> yeah, since the beginning of Toffs, that's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> you were working class, right? Where you came oh, from? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, the the uh, where I came from. I went up there recently. It's like Muslims. Uh, uh, all the pubs are closed. They've got to have a drink. It's just a different place. Yeah. Now. The yeah. house is still there, but it's it's really strange to go back to it. Was it one of them houses where they're all like in a row? Yeah. On the cobble uh, street. No, 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 no detached or seventy. It's all yeah. like a Terry Yeah. And I, I I went in there. I thought, like, how the hell did we survive in this? The rooms are like more closed. Yeah. yeah. But we got on with it, you know. You didn't know any different when no. you when you're young. No. Yeah, huh? like little dogs. Never had a car, never went on holiday, never had anything to talk about. You never went to Brighton? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Brighton when I, when I was a bit older, but when, when, I, when I married Sharon, I uh, moved down south. I mean, Birmingham has really changed since I got there. Yeah. Do you follow football? Well, in actual fact, the last Black Sabbath show, we did it in Birmingham. We yeah. Did, yeah, and you see, it was, it was great. Do you follow football? Yeah. Uh, Really you're a football fan? Nah. Couldn't care less. No. Aston Darts is mine. <laughs> Darts? <laughs> Throwing them at people. Oh, man. So that was, God, I can't believe you started that early, 68. 68, yeah. That you formed a band and we, you were we, playing. We were called Earth and then we changed it to Black Sabbath. The same we, lineup, though. Oh, yeah. We originally, we had a, a saxophone player and a bottleneck guitar player because we were like a blues band. Yeah. But then, you know, we started doing the other stuff. Where'd you get the concept of doing like the music that you did? Because there was nothing really. Was you inspired well, was, by it, anyone? It was like, you know, fly, f f hippies and flowers and you know. Right. All that. You're the anti. Oh, we were living in polluted Birmingham, and, and we were, what's all that crap about? Yeah. So we we we, we, we just decided to write scary music. It was a gimmick. It took off. Yeah. I mean, what, what time? I mean. I, it, it, it seems to me that I was with Sabbath longer because I was there for 10, 10, 11 years. But since I've been so solo, I've been 35, but it seems a lot, lot longer we've been with Black Sabbath. Yeah. You, I mean, I've got no complaints. It, it, it got us out of, out of the working class environment. Yeah. My, we got ripped off royally by every manager we got. Hold. Story about our lives, I mean, it's I was just talking to Paul Stanley about that yesterday. And he and he said, "I said, did you get ripped off when you 
when he first started, and he said, "What? What did he say? He, it was a good line that he had. What did he say, Shovel?" He said, "If you think you didn't, if you think you didn't, you just don't know about it yet." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ripped off. But, yeah, you know. You know my first advance was one hundred and five pounds, and I never thought I would ever see that much money in my life. Yeah, unless you nicked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's about right. Yeah. But if you nicked it, it was a lot of money to have in your pocket. That was a lot of dough back then, though. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know, but I, I mean, I, I bought that much money in my life. I thought I never thought Steve, that I would have that much money. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Look, like, I, I quit in a, in a factory, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That was a good wage then as well. Did you work in a factory? Oh, I worked building sorts, factories. Just, just well, manual I, I labor. could never. I had somebody say, another guy, in, I can't remember who it was, and I said, I wasn't born to work to eight to five. Yeah. I agree. I, I could never hold a job down. I yeah. Said, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I attempted it. It wasn't for me. No, no. It's like, you know, I remember talking to a guy going, well, how long have you been working here? Goes, oh, 35 years, and I'll get my gold watch when I retire. I said, if I want a gold watch, that better break a jeweler shop in the next one. <laughs> That's funny stuff. I mean, for a gold watch, you give 35 years. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people don't know how to break out. It's hard to break out. Oh, yeah. Either I mean, you're a football player, you're in a rock and roll band, or you win the pools. That, yeah. That's your shot. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no other any any option. But, Maybe but, now but, more. But it's always somebody else who wins the pool. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not good at gambling. I mean, I, I don't like gambling. I don't see what people. I, I want to. I was at Vegas one time. I won like nine 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 thousand dollars on, on a slot machine. You did? Yeah, and I, I put on oh, my winning streak. Went on the floor, lost everything in about put five it, minutes. Yeah, put it all back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox with my guest, Ozzy, and uh, he's on November 5th, 4th, oh, 4th and 5th, Ozfest meets Knott's Fest at the Glen Helen Amphitheatre on the festival grounds. It's the first time I played it, played it in, in Los Angeles in six years, I can't believe it. Yeah, and you're just, you're doing it as Ozzy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Six years. The other guys are retired. I haven't. Yeah, they they never did any solo stuff, though, did they? No, I Tony did. I think Tony did one solo. Album. I don't really know. Yeah. We're gonna play some music. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play you. What are we gonna play? Mr. Crowley. Okay. Jonesy's jukebox, Kayla West, with my guest Ozzy Osbourne, Mr. Crowley. Take it away. You're listening to Jones's Jukebox on Carlo S. That was Mr. Crowley by Ozzy Osbourne. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Ozzy Osbourne is in the in the room. I'm here, folks. Come on, Ed! <laughs> um, so we were just talking. Now you've got... That's not a secret, right? That you've got Zach Wilde back in your band? But Zach Wilde's back in We've just done a few gigs around. We're doing it one every month or something. But his playing is is unbelievably good now. Better, better than I mean, the last time. I mean, I haven't played with him like in a, in, a, in a band situation for quite a while now. But I, I'm 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 on stage where my jaw drops. So it's so fast now. You know why? Because he came over my house and I taught him for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> Who else you got in the band? Um, Blasco on bass, Adam Wakeman. Rick, that's Rick Wakeman's son on keyboards. Is he good? Oh, he's, he's a good guy, you know. Has he got a sense of humour like his dad? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I got Tommy Clavitis on drums. It was amazing. Mm. But it, 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 it's, it's, it's a good band. Though. It's yeah. Good for, you know what? All these bands. I don't know. If you, you've ever met them? They'll take it all too seriously. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, we're up there having a laugh, you yeah. know. you got to have fun. you got to have fun. And people go, oh, you made a bum, played a bum note. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. That's what it's all about, you yeah. know. I, I'm, I'm with you there, having fun. Life's too short. I know, you know, give each other a bollock, you know, saying the wrong thing. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I got a teleprompter and I still sing the wrong words. So, <laughs> being dyslexic. I'm dyslexic too. Oh, well, it's good to me. Congratulations. <laughs> a lot of people are dyslexic, I think. But, I mean, you know, I just have, I just have fun, you know. Was you terrible at school? Did you pay any attention? No, I, I, I never went. <laughs> you never went? I used to, I, when I left school, I was the happiest man in the world because I hated it. Yeah. We went into our school. If you, if, they, if you wanted to learn, they'd teach you. If you didn't want to, you'd just sit there with your thumb up your butt yeah. all day long. Yeah, well, you used to sit in the... I used to sit in the back, like, daydreaming. <laughs> yeah. Daydreaming. What would happen if my dad won the pools? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What's, the, what's it like to go on holiday? I mean, I only holiday over. It was Winston Green Prison for three weeks. <laughs> Where's that? Is that in Birmingham? Yeah, yeah. I, I Non-payment of fine. That's what you got Nick for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Did you ever go in Wormwood Scrubs? Yes, I did a gig there. Yeah. With, with Zach. Uh, we, um, do you remember that guy, I suppose, who cut, uh, the riot somewhere, who cut that bloke's head off or something like he was there and he jumps on the stage. Oh, no. I, I run off. <laughs> oh, I shouted, drum solo. <laughs> oh, there's always that. We, we played a Nick back in the day, the Pistols at Chelmsford Maximum Security Nick. And there's always the nutcase who gets up and starts dancing around. I mean, they're, all, they're all right to me. I was just jealous, rock, they all started. Yeah. And the smell of dope in there was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because we did it all for the life, but not life in, life, in, life imprisonment, people. It was, it was, and they had a band there called the Scrubs, which was, which was <laughs> cons, convicts, and wardens. Everyone I thought was a, a convict was a warden. Yeah. They were evil looking bastards. Yeah, you know? there's a, it's a funny nick, though, isn't it? Uh, scrubs. Oh, it's, it's like some out of Oliver Twist. Yeah, depressing. Oh, I don't want my, I don't my I don't have a sunroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a jacuzzi and all that. I used to walk... Well, that's just the rich people who get nicked. That's the that's the nicks they go in. Oh, I tell you what, there's some dodgy people. I, I mean, I tell you what, there's this guy mate, making tea. So I, I, I go to him, uh, I'm drinking his tea, and he's got a big tea on going, and I said to him, how long you, how long you got? He said, oh, I won't sit down like again. He's on me forever. I said so, what did you do? He says, uh, I killed eight people and I'm drinking this drink. I said, how, how did you say did you do this? I them. I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I used to walk along the, the, the side of Wormwood Scrubs because we used to, our school used to play football behind it. There's all them grounds. And I just remember that big wall. It's, it, it's, it's not a very... Oh, no, no nicks any No good. nicks, good. I mean, I mean, at least I got to go out. I mean, yeah. I mean, but here, when, you, when they get your, like, you get life here, you're, that's it, you're done here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of nicks here. Prisons. There's a lot of people in prison now, here. A lot of people who shouldn't be in prison. I know. That are in prison. I, 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 you know, I, they say addiction is an illness. It's, you know, if, so, so, if someone got cancer, they wouldn't put them in jail. Right. I, mean, it's, I don't know. It's, and that thing about it, if they get caught with crack, yeah. they get twice as much as if if uh, the powder. Yeah. It's all the same shit. Um, uh, stop. Yes. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Nearly, it did. What are you talking about, I nearly? That boxing glove on the spring nearly come out. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy because uh, uh, most, I wouldn't say most people, but there's a good percentage of people who get put in nick because they're drug addicts. And, and they're doing stuff to get drugs. They're addicted. Well, we've it's all not been right. There. Yeah. We've all been there, you know. When you're desperate, you'll do whatever you got to get what you got to get. Yeah, but but that's a whole that's a whole thing about a money earner making these nicks too. They like filling people up. It's a whole business. These, yeah, it's these new private prisons. owned. Now. Yeah, it's I mean, a whole thing. Uh, my my son Jack does this thing when he's a, a part time cop in his place somewhere not in America. And I went there with him, and we did, we did, Jack and I did this TV thing for A&E, oh, father and son. Thing. Yeah. You know, men on, the biggest killer for men under 50, I think it is, 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 drug, is heroin. Yeah. That's yeah. bad. And that yeah. oxycontin scent started all that. Yeah. Up, yeah. I, I, I got out well before all that crack stuff and all that. 
Yeah. I would have been, if I, I mean, me, I would have been dead along the rest of them. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, in this small place of Jacko's, there's, there's the drug bus. Like, since uh, we were there in about August, and since January, they've got busted like 40, 45 different de- de- dealers. Yeah. It's only like 80,000 uh, uh, 80, people in the whole place. Yeah. Know? Yeah. What was that place you went to? Jack was talking about it. He showed me pictures of it. It was uh, forensic for, for dead people. Oh, it's, you know, it's been on a TV a couple of times. What they do, they get people donate their bodies when they die. And they, 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 they let them deteriorate, yeah, right? To find out how, how, to see how long they've been dead for, for forensic thing. Yeah. I said, and I said to Jack, it's going to stink. No, no, you know, it stunk. The pen and ink was. Oh, I, mean, I, I mean, it was bad, man. <laughs> I mean, we did, we, of course, we didn't have a picnic there. Yeah. I mean, it, it was... <laughs> a picnic. <laughs> it was It was quite an you know, experience. But they were all, the, the, woman, the woman who ran it, her name was... Uh, what's that kind of a weird name she had. And, uh, and she was on top of these dog dead bodies. Yeah, didn't care. And, I, and we're all going <laughs> fully yeah. phased, and she goes... What's wrong? I said, she, she said, is uh, the smell? Is, is it smell? Is it the smell? She said, oh, I can't smell a thing. She was like three inches away. Oh, from no. Me. I'm like, oh. Oh. It was bad news. Yeah. But I suppose I've got to do something like that, you know? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't. I mean, it wasn't a number one on my job, it was job list. Yeah. But you did cut off chicken's heads with your teeth, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> well, it's the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> different. <laughs> Poultry is different than bodies, isn't it? Yeah. Let's play. Oh, let's give it a plug. What yeah. you got there? We have some tickets to give away for Ozfest meets Not Fest, but for the next twenty-four hours, there's also a special going on, uh, thanks to Live Nation and Ozzy here. For twenty-four hours, you can get the KLOS Ozfest four-pack special. That's four GA tickets for the Saturday for Ozfest for ninety-five dollars plus fees. That's happening for the next 24 hours. But right now, we're going to take caller 25 at 800-955-KLOS for a free pair of two-day passes to the show furnished by Live Nation. All right. We're here with Ozzy Osbourne. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox. We're going to play a bit of Motorhead. Oh, do, great. Doing Heroes. You ever heard this? I, I, no, I, I did, a, I did, I did a, a, a song with Lemmy. I forgot what it was called now. Yeah, you, you know the song Heroes, the Bowie song Heroes. Oh no, I've never. This this is a version that he did that that, has, that has surfaced a little while ago. Take this jukebox. I'm Carlo S. with my guest Ozzy Osbourne. When you first, when when your band was getting going, did you have any input with music, or did you write lyrics? I I didn't. Write, I caught my most, a mel- I get the idea of the song. But then Geezer would very often finish the lyrics. But I come up with the melodies. Yeah. If I couldn't come up with the melody on top of you know, talking about Black Sabbath. Yeah. I, I'd do. I'd sing the the, the riff with. Something. Right. Yeah. It, it worked. Yeah. You did that a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you write the words? Not all the time. I wrote a few, but not much. Geezer was like the brain. Yeah. I he, he went to grammar school. I, I never went. Yeah. But it was. I, you know, whatever you know, it worked. It worked, yeah. Did um, <clears throat> so you was like you you were how much younger was you than the other guys? No, uh, 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 there's Tony, Bill, me, and Geezer. Geezer's the youngest. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah. I thought you was. No, no. you were handsome. I, look, I just look better. <laughs> you did. You was a handsome chap when you were young. Aye. Uh, Easy. <laughs> Easy. End up back in the scrubs. They love you in there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick up the soap. <laughs> oh, man. So um, what made you say enough, enough, enough with uh, Black Sabbath? Well, yeah, I mean, since I, I left, I've had more singers in the London Chamber Choir, you know. So, I mean, and, and I, it, it, was, it was good to end it on an up note because poor old Ronnie James Dill died and yeah. I couldn't end it with him as, anymore. And so... It was just a nice way to finish it. Yeah. It couldn't. I mean, it would have been nice if we'd have waited another year, I suppose, because it'd been fifty years. Yeah. But I, I'm not retired. I'm, I'm. 
how can you retire from this? It's yeah. not a job. It's not a go and put a card in the machine at eight o'clock every morning. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's it's the best thing I've had ever happened to me. You, know. you still like the buzz of of, of a, a lot. Oh yeah, well, you, look, you, look, you know the crowd keep, keep me going. You know. Yeah, I mean, I've I always said if the crowd dwindled to five people, you know, and I'm playing like a coffee bar or something. Butlins. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a time in my career that would have been a welcome gift. Yeah. No, but you know, it's just it's it's. I love music. I love being being in in a, in a a fun situation. Not always. Sometimes I go on stage and I sing like an asshole. Yeah. But, uh, but do, do you do the same? You don't separate your performance, at, whether it's solo or. No, no. I, mean, I just, I'm just Aussie. I just do what I do. You know. I mean, I mean, Black Sabbath is a completely different thing than mine. I have, I, I'm all over the place at man. But Sabbath, I was just a singer, singer with a band called Black Sabbath. Now it's on my own. I can choose what I want to do myself, you know. Yeah. It's just fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. Who who, who did you listen to when you were a kid? Was it 50s? Was you in the 50s no. music? Beatles. When Beatles. I had, when, I, when I had the Beatles for the first time, it, it, a, be, a, a bell went off in my head. And I, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I mean, but, but, you know, I never thought it would be, get as successful as it did. It alone lasted 50 years. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's amazing like, what life's all what happens in life. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, did you the, like the Stones? Not so much as the Beatles. I, I did I, the early Stones, and then um, uh, I see your red door and painted black. Yeah. Yeah. And all that stuff, but then I, I kind of <clears throat> was doing my own, so I stopped listening. I love Bowie. Bowie was a very, very clever guy. Yeah. Well, when he was a uh, like spiders from Mars. Yeah. I, I, but glam, the glam. The trans- transition from that to the, the what he did in the eighties was pretty incredible. Yeah, because to go, come from Ziggy Stardust to this this other thing and get away with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really it's like Stephen Tyler doing that country record. That's a gamble which I would never like to say. But you know what? He took it and he paid off. Did it? Was it a success? That oh yeah, country oh, album. Oh yeah, but enough for me. I mean, it's I, I mean I like all kind of music, but. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take such a heavy a big gamble like that. I mean, he paid off for him. Yeah. So you know, fair fair play. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big country fan myself. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I a like big, old stuff. Old. I, I mean, some of it's okay, but but, um, but some of it, you know, you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So are you, are you, you're going to do any more music? You... Uh, not with the Pistols. No, no. But maybe a solo record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just... just... But, but you know what, Steve? No, I haven't, made, I haven't made a record. The Black Sabbath did an album with 13, which was our, our first number one album ever. Yeah. And, but it's not, you don't, nobody buys records anymore. No. It's a different different game. I, I never thought in my lifetime I'd see the demise of records. Yeah. It, it, it's just, you've got to be a computer. I, I don't know about you, but I can't work a digital watch no more. <laughs> my VCR still blinks 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a VCR. I mean, I've I, I got all these crazy phones and things. I, I, you know, my, my, my sister goes... It does more than tell tell you where you go, what you, read messages. You can do anything. I, c- I can't work it. Yeah. My, my, my short-term memory is gone. Yeah, yeah. People go, no, if you press this button and look over there and that'll come up there, I'm, I'm lost after the first press this <laughs> button. I get it. I get it, man. I, I mean, get I mean, it. But, you know, the world, since it's a computer thing, the world has gotten smaller and smaller, you know. You can go do... You have to send... In the old days, you just send a messenger from England to a lady to do it. Now, you just, it's, it's endless what you can yeah. do. I think, there's a, I think there's a negative to all oh, that Oh, yeah. It's just people want things done yesterday, you know. Yeah. But people uh, don't have any attention span for anything else. It's, I mean, no, no one fo- is focused. On what's I mean, going the on. kids come around with their friends, and it's like they're all sitting in a room, quiet, playing the machines. You know? Yeah, it's very, it's very, uh, it's almost like dehumanised people a bit. 
desensitized. It's made everything good. Toy, you don't have tendency to go, oh, do I like that red bag or a blue bag? You just, you just buy it. Yeah. I mean, my wife's in bed all the time, looking at that thing, shopping online, you know. But it's, I don't know. It's I like world. to go to a shop. I don't like getting online because you get it. And if you don't like it, I can't be asked to send it back. <laughs> and you're stuck with it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did that with a juice machine once. It cost me it cost twenty nine ninety nine ninety nine to buy. <laughs> to send it back, it was like five hundred and ninety. Yeah. <laughs> but there's so many shops that have closed down. In, oh, oh, absolutely. Because absolutely. no one uses them. That they people charge too much for the rent. I know. It's the end oh. of the world, Oz. <laughs> well, we had a good life. We had, if it is the end of the world, I got no complaints. I don't want. I'm not planning on going anywhere right now, but. With this North Korean, it could it might be. Ah, oh, that's all. That's all nonsense. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Shh. Yeah. Shh. I didn't say it. All right. Then. Okay. Uh, what should we do? You done? I'm done. Yeah, it's uh, ten after. Well, thanks for coming by, Oz. Steve, it's been lovely to see you, mate. You're very good. Yeah, we're going to play Ozzy Osbourne over the mountain. Take it away, son.